Hi, welcome to sparse matrix representation using linked list. The linked list in the sense already we know each node will have the data field and address to the next field the pointer. Okay, so here it will have the address to the next node. So here uh, the complexity of inserting and deletion of nodes in the linked list is lesser than the array representation for the sparse matrix a node is having four fields using the linked list representation for sparse matrix one is the row number which is indicating the index value of row and the column column number of the given value then value which is the non-zero element in the sparse matrix and the next field which is having the address of next node so here the given graph is having four vertices uh, the vertices are connected with weighted with edges here the four by four uh, sparse matrix has to be created by using given graph which is having the four vertices but it is it is having only uh, five non-zero elements because it is having uh, five edges so one two three four five edges so since it is having five edges the five non-zero elements will be available but we need four by four 16 uh, memory locations of sparse matrix so the uh, when you are increasing the size of matrix there is the possibility of increasing wastage space so to access the elements uh, in the given sparse matrix we are in need of order of n by m uh, time complexity so here the sparse matrix can be used by are uh, represented by using the linked list uh, by using the node structure first node will be accessed by using the node uh, row number and column number value so here first field indicating the row number second field indicating the column number third field is indicating the data which is available in the sparse matrix that is weighted edge then next node will be created that next node will have the value of the two which is having the row number two then column number one then data value non-zero element is two then node is over so here once you created the node that should be linked with the previous node so the previous node is acting as a uh, head of the linked list so head node is having the link to the next node then here it may have the uh, null because only two nodes has been created now we are going to create the third node the third node value is three so then we will create the node with four fields the row number is three then column number is two then the value is three so here we will have the new node with null then this link will be created this link will be created so then now it is attached so as of now we have created only three nodes in the list then we will create a next node so next node will be created again with the four fields so here row number is uh, three column number is three the value is four so here then it is null then link has to be created to the new node the this this field will have the address of this newly created node so like that for five also we will create the uh, structure of the node then it will be linked with the previous node so finally the last node will have the null field so that indicates there is no more nodes in the given linked list so here we can represent the given uh, sparse matrix by using the linked list data structure here it is taking uh, uh, totally for five nodes 20 memory locations it is taking because each field each each node is having four fields row number column number value and address of next node so this is the uh, sparse matrix representation by using linked list thanks for watching